RHS Precalculus presents Terrified Timmy is trapped on the Ferris wheel of death. Solving problems using harmonic motion. One day, Timmy decided to go to the amusement park. I love the amusement park. At the park, he decided to finally conquer his fears and ride the Ferris wheel of death. The Ferris wheel was 195 feet tall with a giant shark filled tank at the base. He got on the Ferris wheel and it began to climb higher and higher and then lower and lower as Ferris wheels do. He was at the base of the Ferris wheel when, suddenly, a blown electrical fuse caused all the lights to go out in the park. The whole park went dark, but for some reason the Ferris wheel did not stop. Eventually, the, fer the Ferris wheel of death was shut off by Timmy's concerned mother, who was too distraught to consider where Timmy was on it. In addition to her horrid timing, her jerky stop of the Ferris wheel blew out its fuse as well, rendering it completely immobile. Timmy was now stuck and suddenly very afraid of heights. Ah! Help! You can't see Timmy right now, but this is what he looks like. Luckily, the fire department was nearby and able to quickly drive up with their very tall ladder. Wee <laughs> Unfortunately, they had no idea where and how high Timmy was on the Ferris wheel, and thus didn't know how high to adjust their ladder. But one clever fireman had the brilliant idea of, using, of solving this problem using harmonic motion. The first step was to set up an equation. Because the lights went off when Timmy was at the very bottom of the Ferris wheel, there were two options for the equation, a negative cosine or a shift in sine equation. The basic equation into which values would be plugged in was thus, d equals a cosine omega t, or d equals a sine omega t, where a represents the amplitude and omega is used to find the period and frequency cycles. t and d are synonymous with the x and y values respectively, with d representing the distance from the origin and t representing the time that had passed. They were able to find the amplitude because the furthest Timmy, that Timmy could have ever traveled from the origin was the same distance as the radius of the Ferris wheel. The amplitude is also known as the maximum displacement from the origin, thus the amplitude is the radius of the Ferris wheel, or 95 feet. They were able to find omega because, according to the Ferris wheel operator, the Ferris wheel was able to make 2.5 full rotations per minute. Knowing that the period was 2 pi over omega, they plugged in 24 seconds for the period and solved for omega or omega equals 2 pi over 12. In addition, because they knew that the center of the Ferris wheel was not ground level, there had to be an added vertical shift to the equation. The wheel of the Ferris wheel was 5 feet off the ground, and the center of the Ferris wheel was the length of the radius, 95 feet, from the bottom up edge of the Ferris wheel. Thus, the total height of the center of the Ferris wheel from the ground is 95 feet plus 5 feet, or 100 feet. If they were to use a cosine equation, they would simply have to put a negative sign in front of the amplitude, as the, normal, as the graph would look like a flipped version of a normal cosine equation. However, if they were to make it a sine equation, the graph would be shifted one-fourth of the cycle to the right. One cycle for the Ferris wheel is 24 seconds, and one-fourth of that is 6 seconds, which means there would be a phase shift of 6 added to the equation. They then came up with these equations. They now had an equation for the motion of the Ferris wheel, but Timmy was still stuck and just about ready to pee his pants. The mechanic for the Ferris wheel knew that the Ferris wheel had been running for 1.75 minutes between the time the lights had gone out and when Timmy's mom had stopped it. They then plugged in the, this value for T and solved for D, or Timmy's height. Finally, the firemen were able to adjust their ladder to the perfect height and rescue an overjoyed Timmy. Yay!